Good afternoon. Ireland squad for the Guinness Series in November. Uh, Rory Best, Tommy Bow, uh, Darren Cave, Tom Court, Gordon Darcy, Keith Ardles, Stephen Ferris, Kean Healy, Jamie Heaslip, Ian Henderson, uh, Chris Henry, David Kilcoyne, Luke Marshall, John Muldoon, Connor Murray, Mike McCarthy, Fergus McFadden, Kevin McLaughlin, Donnico Callaghan, Paul O'Connell, Brian O'Driscoll, Captain, Ron O'Gara, Peter O'Mahony, Owen Redden, Mike Ross, Donnico Ryan, uh, Jonathan Sexton, Richard Strauss, Andrew Trimble, Dan Tui, and Simon Zebo. Um, I'll be keeping an eye on things over the weekend, especially in the full back and prop positions, and uh, I could envisage one or two additions to that squad as well then to uh, going into next week. Declan, you have four on cap players in there, Ian Henderson, Luke Marshall, Richard Strauss, uh, and amongst them. Um, can you tell us the thinking behind including those players? Yeah, well, Ian obviously had a very good under-20 World Cup and we brought him in just to, uh, we just told him to come in in our September camp just to, for a bit of experience, see how he'd measure up and in fairness to him, he settled in well over that two days and uh, he's taken his opportunities with Ulster quite well and uh, we just feel that he's showing a good bit of form there and uh, so that we believe he merits that. Likewise with David Kilcoyne, uh, we like the way that he's going with Munster as well then too. Uh, there seems to be a queue for, on the loose head side for uh, of Irish guys. There's quite a number of fellows there. Dennis Buckley has gone well. Uh, Tom Court, uh, Keen Healy. So it's nice to see guys coming through there. Uh, in terms of uh, Luke's position, uh, obviously we just need to concentrate on the uh, November matches, but it's also it was in the job to make sure that Ireland has a squad going forward. So in the same way that during um, the... Um, the June tour, for one reason or another, we made sure that our second rows, who were all of one age, like we had Mick O'Driscoll, Leo Cullen, Paul O'Connell, you know, they're all the one age. We had to make sure that other second rows were coming through, so Dan Tui and, uh, and Donica Ryan got a run there. Likewise, in the centres, we have a number of guys playing well in the centres, like James Downey, uh, Paddy Wallace. Uh, Gordon Darcy, in fairness to him, stood up to the mark uh, last weekend. So we feel just it's incumbent to make sure that we have a, a group coming through. So that's where we think that um, we don't want the three of those disappearing at the one time and having nobody. So Luke is in the squad there. And we feel, feel also that he really went well in the early part of the season. And that's to give credit to um, uh, Mac Sherry as well and to in Connacht. So it's nice to see two guys of that age group coming through. And we think the age profile then of the rest of the squad uh, is pretty good that we have some experienced fellas who are, you can see a couple of guys there who are well over the 100 caps. Uh, but the job is to make sure that um, it's never cyclical, that you try and be uh, as smooth as possible in bringing guys through. And uh, Luke is that case. The uh, fourth guy then, Rickard, is like we talked about earlier, he's just, he's just playing very well. How difficult have you found in the absence of uh, two coaches covering both roles and trying to double job? I mean, will this make a big difference to you in preparation for these tests? To tell you the truth, the time factor hasn't been a, an issue. If, if anything, um, uh, working with Axel will just allow me to probably just put a bit more attention and focus on certain issues of the attack shape. Uh, you know, we've worked together on that, and um, I've certainly had a lot more to do with that area. Uh, but what it does do, it allows us to bring in someone who knows the system. We've uh, we've built a good rapport over the last three or four years, uh, Axel and I. There's a lot of similarities there. Um, He's going to have a chance to, to, to just jump on the top of it and put his own stamp and authority on that area. And as you say, I can now get into a little bit more detail in certain areas in the attack side of things. So I think in general, we've always been you know, trying to work on solutions how to improve delivery to the players overall and getting a better plan together to improve performance. And this is just another uh, evolution, in it, I guess. And, uh, so you know, my hand will be up and, and, and doing a little bit more in terms of only focusing on that, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. Some talk that you might add more for the Fiji game, or is it just going to be selected from this or The Fiji game, will we're still two weeks out from the South African game, so it depends on uh, a number of aspects. One is the game time of uh, the guys that come through. Right? Okay, some guys might need game time to play against Fiji to get them ready for Argentina. 
Uh, the combinations we need to make sure are important. It's our time together as well then too before the Six Nations and yes we do want to try and give other fellows a go as well then too so it will depend a lot on how the next two weeks go so there, there might be the aspiration to play some guys but this match against Fiji is is basically a non-test a non-capped test match like they won't be put they won't be holding back against us and we'll have to make sure that uh, we put out a good performance because the people who pay their money to go to Tolman Park they'll deserve a good performance from us as well then too. Yeah, Keith was uh, Keith is up and running. Just uh, the match against Zebra on Friday is uh, just comes a little bit early for him, but we would ex we would hopefully we would expect that he'd be training fully with us next week. Okay.